I picked this cake for so many reasons. We could have done just like a basic white wedding cake with flowers on it, but what is the fun in that? I wanted to give these bakeries a challenge and I have been so excited since we started doing bakery review videos this is the one that I wanted to do. A wedding cake is the fanciest, most expensive cake in general that you can do. So how would it compare when you do like a one star versus five star bakery? And additionally, this five star baker is an at home baker versus a professional baker, which is a one star baker, like double whammy. And thank you so much to Constant Contact for sponsoring a portion of this video. This cake though, okay. So it has sugar flowers on it. Sugar flowers are so hard to get right because the fondant or gum paste has to be so thin so it ruffles properly and you can wire them properly. Like you have to individually wire every little leaf. So you can't just make a sugar flower out of fondant or gum paste and leave it one color. You have to dust it or airbrush it so that way it has those two different color tones. As you can see in the picture, I can see all of these colors coming through because the you know, flowers aren't one dimensional. So the sugar flowers alone, I think that's where you can see a lot of their skill. Top tier is a gold covered cake. I had to do a completely airbrushed shimmery cake for my sister-in-law and my brother's wedding. It was challenging to get it really even. So with the gold, I want to see an even tone. I don't want to see any brush marks, any streak marks. I want to see like really fully covered and really pigmented. Don't give me like a light yellow cake. I want it to be like gold. And the edible image, <laughs> oh, the edible image. So I didn't give them an image. I said I wanted this cake, so they had to source the image themselves and try to get as similar as possible. I wanna see what that image looks like, but I did an edible image wrapped around a cake for the first time. If you guys saw that video, you saw the hell that was my life. When I tried to wrap that around the cake, the cake was too big for the edible image. So when I went to wrap it around, there was this huge gap in the back and it wasn't even a straight gap, it was like, like a wedge gap. Needless to say, it was mess. And I'm really curious what they're gonna do with the edible image to see if they're gonna be able to get those joints seamless and the top's gonna look seamless. I don't want any bubbles showing on the side of it. So this cake, there's so many skills between the different elements and I'm excited to see how those come through on these cakes. Can we bring out the cakes now? I want to see the first cake. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go this way. Okay. Wow, this is really pretty. The height isn't what I expected. Like I didn't expect it to be this tall and I love that it is this tall. This one is the Five Star Bakery who is also the at-home baker. I don't think this is an edible image at all. I think that she hand painted all of this. I see a seam for the fondant, which makes me think she wrapped the cake in fondant instead of covering the cake in fondant. I would not have the skills to hand paint these kinds of flowers. I never said that it had to be an edible image. I just said, I want this cake. I'm curious to compare the picture that I gave them versus what she painted. I can see a big difference with just the amount of detail that are in the flowers versus how simple they are. But I would say like it is comparable and they did a wonderful job hand painting that. I mean, it's stunning. I especially love, see how it's not all just like white space but they did like color dust little blotches here. I like that. It just doesn't look like the picture. So I would say there's that critique. Now moving to the gold, I love how covered that is. I can definitely tell they painted it sideways and not up and down and it's not sprayed because I can see the lines, but I don't mind the lines. They're not sloppy lines. Like they're very clean. And at the top of it, the top looks a little bit more sloppy. I can see the ring where the fondant was wrapped around it. And I can also see the dowels. It's not a big deal, but you can see that kind of flaw there and I can see this back seam on the side of the cake. I think that seam should have been put right to the back of the cake and not at the side. Is that a seam in the fondant? Yeah, she would have cut out a disc and covered the top of the cake in a disc and then wrapped the whole sides, almost like a barrel wrap. Oh. Cause you can see the seam here. But it seems like it was a great way to get those nice straight square edges. Those square edges are beautiful, I love them. The sugar flowers are stunning, like stunning. I think that they did an amazing job. I mean, there's parts of it that I find are a little sloppy. The flower was kind of like poking out a little bit there. But I mean, all in all, that's a small detail and that's really hard to avoid when you're doing a light tone flower. But you can see all the texture in the leaves that are put there and all the dusting on the leaves. Like I think that was really well done. These flowers look a little basic. Like I feel like that she could have done more with those. But the placement of the flowers, how it's trickling up and down, I really love what they did. Like all in all, I think it's a similar enough looking cake. I love the height, I love the square edges, I love the detail and the color dust and everything they did in the flowers. 
I think the gold is flawless. I think my biggest critique, honestly, on this cake is just gonna be the fact that this is hand painted, which is amazing, again, but it doesn't look like what I gave them. And I think if she had said when I ordered it, I can hand paint something similar, but it won't look exact, I think that's a really good way to break down that expectation. But the hand painting is amazing. Like, you can definitely see that this person is a skilled baker. I get why they're a five-star bakery. Like, this is stunning. How much was this one? This one was $455. $455. And do you know how much the next one is? The next one that we're gonna do is $350. Yeah. 350. So there was about a hundred dollar difference, which is interesting that the at-home baker was actually came in more expensive than the professional bakery. Because usually at-home bakers kind of come under a little bit, so that way they can kind of beat the bakery's price. Let's bring out the next one. Before I bring out the next cake, I want to thank Constant Contact for sponsoring this portion of my video. Constant Contact is an online marketing company that provides small businesses with online marketing tools, resources, and personalized coaching needed to market and grow your business. If you're running a small business and have wanted to improve your online marketing, marketing, Constant Contact can help. They make powerful email marketing easy and with world-class support and the highest email deliverability rate in the industry at 99%, they know how to deliver results. From promoting a sale, to launching a new product, to staying in touch with your customers, Constant Contact can help you achieve your goals to see real results that will drive your business. It's easy to create great looking emails too. You can customize your emails with their easy to use editing tools and with loads of templates to choose from, you don't have to be a graphic designer to have stunning emails that give you that professional vibe. Not to mention, they make it easy for small businesses to build custom website with e-commerce functionality. So whether you are just getting started or already using an e-commerce platform, they can help you sell online. You guys can click the link down below and try out Constant Contact for free. Thanks again to Constant Contact for sponsoring this portion of my video. Now let's bring out the next cake. Oh my God, a one-star bakery wedding cake. Good, good, I can take it off? Yep. Oh, oh. Oh, I'm like taken aback because I feel like we lost a foot compared to the other cake. The other cake, I was just like, wow, the height and the grandness of it. And this one is just like short and stumpy. Edible image, I can tell because it has these printer lines in it, but also this is like overlapping and peeling. Oh, it's not just overlapping though, look. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> I'm not the only one. And they put that towards the front of the cake. Why on the front of the cake would you put a patch? I tried to like fit a wedge right into the seam, whereas they just went over the seam, except they didn't glue down the edges, so it's just all peeled up here. Like I shouldn't be able to do that. And this one, you can see where the seam doesn't meet. I can't laugh at their quality of work for an edible image because I had issues. The difference is, I'm a DIY baker who didn't go to school for this, and this is a professional bakery who's been around for years and years and years who specializes in wedding cakes. So I would not send this out the door. That was one of the things I said in the other videos, and what I messed up is the reason I can be calm about it is because nobody's getting this cake. I don't know how you send this out a door. I'm sorry. It's a wedding cake. How do you do that? Not to be like super judgy, but I have to be more critical because for people, a wedding cake, it's the most important cake kind of of their lives. It's the cake that you spend the most money on typically. And you want it to be perfect because you want everything for your wedding to be perfect. You're a bride, you walk in, I gave them the picture, that was my expectations. I get this, I'd be pretty upset. Immediately just with the edible image work, I can see why they're one star bakery. The gold, I'm actually really impressed with their gold work. It's fully covered. I can't see a lot of blotches, but there are imp infractions. In the top, you can see some like cracks here and some little specks, and it looks kind of like bubbled. And you can see a little bit of like how it looks really thin here compared to here. But all in all, I think the gold work is pretty impressive if you're not thinking about the fact that there are imperfections. Can we take a moment to look at the bottom of this tier? That's really sloppy looking. And even if we take it to the cake board, it's a really thin silver cake board that they didn't use a ribbon on the bottom. You would never, ever put a wedding cake on a thin cake board. If you were doing that, don't do that. But also, look at all the fingerprints all over this cake board. And then I paid for sugar flowers. And they gave me what to, looks to me is like dollar store fake flowers. Like look at this leaf, how it's all kind of coming apart like that. It just looks like cheap kind of floral stuff. We compared the other one. So let's look at it because she looks different. Why is it just roses? They had to try to pick an image that would look as close to it as they could. You can get free stock images on lots of websites. They pick this image that is not all of these colors and textures that is just, they're not roses. I'm sorry, I don't know my flowers, but it's not like different flowers, it's one flower. 
And I feel like honestly, the height of the second tier is closer because it actually is a short second tier, but the bottom tier is supposed to be grander. And the sizing of the flowers, these are like delicately placed a little off to the side. These are like humongous flowers. Look at the front image, how you can see the gold of the cake kind of coming up the top. When you think of a front view of something, it has to be flawless. I'm not trying to be too harsh. Looking at it, it's a beautiful cake. Structurally, it's two-tiered. It's not sliding around, it's not falling over. When I look straight across it, it's very level. They've tiered it really well. The edges are pretty square. They're not super rounded and dated looking. There are pros to this cake. It's just the cons. When you think of a wedding cake, I'm gonna have to be a lot more critical because it is a wedding cake and it should be flawless. Can we try them? Even though I feel really guilty cutting into wedding cakes when it's not my wedding. Hopefully that's not like some sort of voodoo bad luck thing. Whoa, the, the height difference here. Yeah, I can definitely see five star, one star. Like you can see the difference. And this one was a hundred dollars more than this one? Yes. Worth it. Like you get what you pay for a little bit. But can we just take like a tiny second for me to feel good about myself? Cause usually I kind of feel like a garbage cake decorator. I, I attend to gaslight myself, but I feel like I don't always know what I'm doing. And I was trying that edible image for the first time. I felt like, oh my God, I messed it up so bad. Even though it was just me trying it for the first time, things mess up. But this place who's been doing wedding cakes for like 50 years, for them to mess up this edible image, it kind of makes me feel a little bit better about how badly I messed up that edible image. I know that's not nice, but- Sometimes you gotta take sometimes, pride in other people's misfortunes. Oh, that sounds worse. Oh, <laughs> oh, now I feel bad. Oh, that's not what I meant. It's just, it's nice to see that I'm not the only one who struggled with like it not meeting up and needing to do the patchwork. I want to taste the quality because at the end of the day, yes, you have a pretty wedding cake that's sitting there and everyone's going to take pictures of it, but you want it to taste good because this is for all your guests and food is something every wedding, that's what people are going to compare, like complain about is going to be the food and the music. The cake has to taste good. Okay, what is the flavors of this one? The bottom tier is tuxedo with hazelnut cream and Ferrero Rocher filling, oh my goodness. And the top tier is vanilla with buttercream filling. Okay, the top tier sounds really boring, but the bottom tier, oh my God. To be, that's hard. Wow, that was hard to cut through. Um, I asked for their most popular cake flavors for each tier. Oh God. Well, that's a thick layer of ganache. My God, no wonder it was hard to cut through. Like how thick the ganache is compared to like how crumbly the cake is. And there's a cake board here, that's why I couldn't. Am I wrong? Is there not a cake board? <gasps> you should do like an abstract cut where you just like, whoa, whoa, like, like if you're cutting on a tree. No. Why? No. That's so cool. Maybe you could come up with a new cake cutting. No. Cake. Okay, that smells amazing. Let's do the vanilla first because I'm not overly excited about that one. Is that a good look of confusion or a bad look of confusion? I don't know. The flavor is really good. The texture is really bad. I'm surprised. It's almost like crumbling apart in my mouth. Is it like really dry or something? It doesn't taste dry. It tastes moist, but it tastes like it's almost like a dry crumbly cake that they then soaked in simple syrup because oh. it has that sweetness and it doesn't have that dryness. You can kind of see a little bit that's just like crumbling apart. Can you take a bite? Come something into your face because you're making a face. Go down a little bit. You <laughs> that bad? Right now we're the same, we're the same height. Oh. Um. That is neat. <laughs> yeah, it's like. Okay, weird. You described exactly the way. Thank I you. I was like, I don't, it's weird because it's a good tasting cake, but the texture of it crumbling in your mouth is off putting. Tuxedo cake, I feel like it's just vanilla and chocolate. Oh my God. Wow. Mm -hmm. It's like a brownie met chocolate cake. Fudgy and decadent and moist. And it doesn't crumble apart like the crappy vanilla part of this. It's delicious. And I don't find it too sweet. Like it has that perfect balance. Like their chocolate is amazing. I just don't know what they're doing with their vanilla recipe. Like they need to rethink that. I've got to say though, when they said like Ferrero Rocher, <laughs> you smell the cake, Archie? <laughs> when they said Fer Ferrero Rocher, like hazelnut, I don't taste it like a hint if you just eat pure icing. But I feel like if you're gonna say this is the flavor, you should taste the flavor. You shouldn't be searching for it. At least that's what they say in the cooking shows. <laughs> so the bottom is lemon raspberry, but the top tier is green apple cinnamon. That's yeah. interesting flavor. They said that the green apple cinnamon isn't everyone's favorite, but I think it's like how you really love it or you really hate it. I'm trying to get in here and get a good slice out. Oh, 
That's disappointing. You would think for like a wedding cake and for an expensive cake, you would have like fresh raspberries in there and not just like raspberry whip, but see how it tastes. It's really surprising. Their cake tastes better. To be clear, the filling kind of tastes like raspberry flavored Cool Whip. <laughs> um, it doesn't taste like a high end, like, you know, if you made like a raspberry compo, it just tastes like it's just like a flavored whipped cream, but it works. I'm not really getting lemon, kind of tastes like vanilla raspberry, but the flavor of it, like I find that the balance of flavor actually nice. The cake is really moist. Compared to their vanilla mess, I mean their chocolate was on point, but compared to their vanilla mess, this is better. Green apple cinnamon. <laughs> oh, it tastes like soap. <laughs> it's melting in my mouth, but not in a good way. Why is it melting? No, you have to try that. <laughs> no, no, come here. Maybe you'll love it and I hate it. Maybe that's I like some people love it, some people hate it, but like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's soap. Oh, sometimes I feel like I'm crazy. It's not like a super strong soap flavor. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit delayed, but it definitely yeah. Yeah. soap. Yeah. Soap. soap. I don't even think it like tastes anything like green apple. I, I got the hints of cinnamon, but I love cinnamon. That was really gross. Ew, why would that even be a thing? Who likes that? This is just wow, wow. Let me know down below what you guys think with the different price points and how they did with everything. And let me know what you guys want me to do next. And hopefully it doesn't taste gross like that one.